Hi, today I'm working on my uh, AMD 486 system and I need an adapter because my AT keyboard uh, is actually being repaired. So just for testing, I'm using a MIDI cable and I'm just using some DuPont connectors and an Arduino uh, keyboard PS2 adapter. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just soldering on the DuPont connectors onto the cable and then I'm going to use the adapter and then I'm going to see if I can get a PS2 keyboard to work on the AT connector on my uh, 486 system. Okay, I'll um, be back online shortly and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, complete making this cable and then we'll give it a go and see if we can actually do something with this 486 system. Okay, this is my completed adapter where I'm just using a simple uh, PS2 VGA uh, Arduino board with uh, just pin headers on it. And I'm just using DuPont cables that I've soldered onto a five pin MIDI cable to make up an adapter so I can actually use this motherboard, which is my AMD 486 board. And now I actually can enter the BIOS. And now my next job is to actually work on getting the uh, device connected to a drive. So now I'm going to work on a drive. It's space to change. Ah, look at that. So I can actually use this keyboard. Uh, my Cherry AT keyboard is currently being repaired. Once I have that repaired, I shall probably use it because it's a proper five pin keyboard and it's probably more appropriate to be used with this machine than this modern uh, PS2 Logitech board. Okay, this is working quite well and it was fairly easy to make. It was just a matter of uh, connecting up the DIN power cable to some Japan connectors and then I'm just using this simple adapter. Um, if I want to do something a little bit more permanent, I could actually see if I can find a PS2 female connector, but at the moment, uh, this will do nicely. Okay, thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Bloody marvellous.